Alright, hey what's up guys, it's Disturbed. Um, just to preface this, for those of you that are subscribed to me for The Division and whatnot, please just completely disregard this video. This video has absolutely nothing to do with The Division. It's on a completely separate topic regarding H1Z1 and Daybreak. Pretty much just falsely accusing people and banning people with absolutely almost no right to do so. Um, this is going to be a rather involved video, but I'm not doing any tryhard editing. I'm being lazy about it, and I felt that it would seem like more of a, I guess, from the heart experience if I just straight up just lay out all of the information and do everything off the cuff, and it's also a great way for me to be lazy. So, yeah, for those of you that are subbed for The Division, just completely ignore all of this, please, because it has nothing to do with this. I just want to get my story out there, and I know that um, there's a lot of other people that are dealing with the exact same thing, so I kind of just want to get I want to shed some light on this because this is a problem that a lot of people are experiencing and to be completely truthful it's absolute bullcrap and nobody should have to deal with this so what am I talking about well yesterday morning I woke up with uh, this fantastic email after trying to log into my daybreak account and seeing that uh, hmm, I was banned and then I checked my email greetings this is a notification from daybreak game company wow best company ever made we regret to inform you that the account name Stribbly, yes that is the account that I was using it's a different name but that's off the that's off topic Stribbly has been terminated due to a co community standards violation after reviewing our records one of the characters on this account was found to have committed the following violations cheating now, if you look at this upon the surface, it'll just be like, okay, well, you're just a filthy cheater. Well, I know to, um, sorry, I'm gonna have to first discount the fact or the misconception that I am possibly a cheater before I delve into everything else, because I know if you just look at it from an outside perspective, you're just like, oh, he got banned for cheating. What is this idiot complaining about? He's probably a cheater. I need to prove first to you that I'm not a cheater, hopefully you come to the conclusion that I'm not as well, and a lot of other players are dealing with the same thing, where they're getting banned and it says that they're cheating, and they really aren't, but they have absolutely no recourse because people either don't know them because they're not known, so they just assume they're cheating, and then Daybreak can just get away with banning them and possibly stealing all their skins. So, first I'm just going to prove that I'm not cheating, and then after that I will get deeper into it. So first off... I have a whole bunch of shit open. First off, I have a lot of my wins on Twitch. I don't stream very often because my OBS doesn't allow me to stream for more than an hour. I have something wrong with my CPU. But you can go on here and see, if, you can watch my gameplay. I encourage you to, if you really think I'm a cheater, please look at every single second of my gameplay and try to find anything sketchy because I promise you, you won't find anything. I have a 21 kill, a 23 kill, 22 kill, 25 kill, all on stream. I highly encourage you to watch all of that. Uh, here are my leaderboard stats, if this means anything. Usually people that are cheaters, they typically have high win rates, high top 10 finish rates, high kill per matches, and then um, they don't usually have a lot of kills, and they don't have a lot of games played. The reason of this is because if they're cheating, they probably only play about 500 games played before getting caught. Also, if I were to cheat, it would be extremely idiotic. As you can see, over here just from these thumbnails. Um, I have a bunch of skins. I have Green Dawn, I have Twin Galaxy, I have Blue Bandana, I have Kringle's Helmet, I have a whole bunch of skins. It would be purely idiotic of me to, for one, use hacks in the first place. For two, to play on my account worth arguably thousands of dollars with hundreds of dollars worth of tradable skins, so that's actual tangible money right there. It would be just so stupid of me to play on that account with cheats knowing that I could possibly get banned that makes no sense if I were to cheat I would do it on another account or I wouldn't spend money on skins yeah that that would maybe be a thought another thing is that if I were to cheat I would not push myself up to rank 32 NA to then possibly make it seem oh who the hell is this guy top 50 NA hmm he might be cheating if I'm actually a cheater I would want myself to be lower on the leaderboard so that I don't get seen by other people so that I'm not accused of cheating, right? But I don't have any problem with being this high on the leaderboard because I'm not a goddamn cheater, okay? Second off, um, a bunch of other people have been banned for the same thing, so that in of itself, like, people are just getting banned for cheating or supposedly quote-unquote cheating when they aren't actually cheating. I hope that's enough, um, enough to persuade you that I'm not a cheater. I have roughly a thousand games played. The thing is, though, I know that a lot of you are going to look at my preseason three, the thing about my preseason three, if you look up the serve gaming, 
Right now, my preseason three, it's really shit. That's because I did not play on this account in preseason three. I did, obviously. There's a couple games here, but I played on my other account, which right now is called Pro Plat Gamer. As you can see, season three had about 1,500 games played. It was like a 16, you know, 20 kill gamer. And then if you don't believe that, well, looky here. I have H1 open. Pro Plat Gamer, right here. I know display capture is going to shit itself, but yeah, let me just close H1 now. So yeah, this is actually me, and if you want even more proof here, I can just look at my top 10 right now. That's my top 10 right now. You can look up Pro Plat Gamer, and that's my top 10 for Season 4. So I have ownership of both of these accounts. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know a lot of people are going to be like, hmm, well, if you in Season 3 were getting 11 kill wins, but then out of nowhere in Season 4 you started dropping 20s and got ranked 50 and 8, you're probably a cheater. Well, no, I didn't just start out of nowhere getting 20s. I played on this account Season 3, and then I played on the other account Season 4. Hopefully that makes sense. So, now I'm done talking about me and why I'm not a cheater. Now I'm going to talk about uh, how big of an issue this is and what's actually been going on. So, real quick, I just want to show... Uh, this I'm kind of don't really know which order to go in here, but I'm just gonna show everything that I have prepared um, Right here is just my submission for an appeal for uh, h1z1 I sent this to them and then they sent me an email essentially just saying actually I can just go on my email Please don't hack me Yep, that's my name deal with it. All right. Here's the response. This is an automated reply so they sent this nearly instantaneously and it says, your account has been suspended or banned based on a combination of factors including, but not limited to, cheat detection tools, video evidence, player reports, as well as direct observation. We do not base our decisions on a single report or piece of evidence, and as such, we feel very strongly that the action taken against your account is valid. Well, the thing that I have wrong with this is that I very, very highly doubt that they are able to for one look at every single individual's person see if they have cheat detection tools have video evidence on every single person and then check player reports on every single person and then directly observe every single person's gameplay that they ban they ban thousands of people on a daily basis i guarantee to you they do not have a big enough staff to support this and I was banned for no reason, so if they really do take this many precautionary measures to make sure if somebody is actually cheating or not, then I would not have gotten banned. I don't know why I'm getting banned. Maybe it's because I have a theory that it, they just ban people based on how many reports they get in a day, and if somebody's pretty good at the game, they're going to get reported a lot because... Let's say I two-tap some kid that has 100 hours on the game. He's going to be like, holy shit, that guy's probably aimbotting. And then report me. Or somebody can report me for being toxic. Or somebody can report me just because they want to report me. You know, that can be a theory. Or another theory is that could just be completely accidental. I have absolutely no idea. But then they just said that I have to respond to this. I responded, appeal is still open. And then a lot of people told me to tweet at uh, Bronstadt and the Great Mutato. Tweeted both of them. Didn't get a single reply. Um... So yeah, that's great. Now I'm just going to go into a couple Reddit posts and proof that uh, this has happened to a whole bunch of other people and it's simply not just me. So here's a Reddit post. Here's about 11 different separate occasions where people have been getting banned for either uninstalling their game or simply just because Daybreak thinks they're cheating. I'm not going to open up every single leak because that's tedious, but I will leave links to all of these in the description of the video. And I, I plan on making a Reddit post on this in the future, so I'll probably make a Reddit post right before I upload this video. So there's a whole bunch of other people in the comments here. I mean, this is just less than a day ago, and it's already gotten a bunch of publicity. There's a whole bunch of people just saying, I'm getting banned for absolutely no reason. My SSD failed. I got banned. A whole bunch of other stuff. And then here's another separate occasion where people are getting banned on Just Survive. Pretty much the same thing, but if you get banned on Just Survive, you get banned on uh, King of the Kill as well. Here's a clip of Symphony. Let me turn this down. It's TT Hump streaming, and he's messaging Symphony. And then basically it's just a clip of Symphony being banned. It said that he got banned from Just Survive. This ban is permanent. As a result of this ban, you'll no longer be able to play in Vax Secured servers within this game. View all banned games for full list, blah, 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 blah. And then he scrolls down. He got banned in Just Survive. Not entirely sure why his was in Just Survive and mine was in King of the Kill. This was a bit ago, but I actually messaged Symphony on Steam and he told me that he got banned. Now here's another separate occasion where Aladdin gets banned as well knows it isn't true lost all my skins hope they respond to my appeal and abandon me because i didn't do shit wrong anything else you know that possibly get my account back message bronstad on twitter 
Did that still no response? I know that I'm probably being impatient because I just sent the tweet out last night upon hearing Aladdin say this, but I shouldn't have to wait more than a day to receive my account back after being wrongfully banned. But, you know, Daybreak has a sick appeal process that makes you wait about a week. But, you know, me me trying to push for top 20 NA before the season resets, that, that doesn't matter, right? Just be like, yo, I didn't fucking hack. What the dicks? I've been banned on fucking... I've been banned from H1Z1 too before, dude. And they're like, sorry, my bad. You know? The last thing, Aladdin, how do you get... Yeah, the thing is about streamers like Aladdin, I actually fucking love Aladdin, uh, but the thing is about streamers, when they get banned, they have they have the community and they have popularity and they have publicity. If they say, oh, I got banned, Daybreak is immediately going to be like, oh shit, he's obviously not cheating, we need to unban him. But for people like me that don't really have a voice, like this is my form of having a voice, like making this youtube video but i i'm not a popular streamer i'm not popular in the community so i don't have any form of recourse and a whole bunch of other people are just like me and we just have to sit here in the dark and get banned but these people aladdin symphony eric triceps dr disrespect when they get banned they immediately get unbanned because they are popular right so it's fucked up that i have to sit here through a two-week appeal process to possibly even get to still not get unbanned and i'll, I'll talk about that more in a second here did they say you were cheating? Yeah, dude, they said it. Oh, no, not you. Okay, sorry. When I got banned, they did say I was cheating, but it was stupid. Yep, they said Aladdin was cheating. Aladdin is not a goddamn cheater. Okay, and then here's Carta. Know anyone recently that's been false, getting falsely banned for cheating happened to me yesterday? I don't know if it's Jumper 32 and not an effing cheater. Dude, I don't know. It's happened to a lot of people, actually. It's been a thing for a while. I mean, like, I guess you just contact Daybreak in whatever way. Yeah, unfortunately, that is not the best way to go about things. So I've contacted them, haven't really gotten much of a response. I know that it's Sunday and stuff, but I honestly just shouldn't have to deal with this. Now, another thing that uh, makes me a little bit weary is that I know a lot of people, like, you just assume I would get unbanned, right? You assume, oh, you're, he's probably not cheating, so he's just going to get unbanned. Well, the problem with that is that my friend Waspy here, he was banned. Here, wrong, wrong one. He was banned this is his ban appeal right here it just says i'm he's basically saying i'm not cheating he has a tg hoodie and a, and a a uh fight for the crown hoodie on his account so he's not going to cheat i'll even show his top 10 uh let's see i'll even show his top 10 clearly not really a cheater you can look at how many games he has played and whatnot he's roughly about as good as me he's not a cheater and and he did not get his account back he sent them an appeal and this is his response after reviewing your case, it appears that the account in question was permanently terminated a, in a direct violation of Daybreak Games Terms of Service. We do not disclose our findings in these cases as third, party, third parties could use this information to better circumvent detection. Essentially, they're just saying, well, we're not going to tell you why we banned you, but we are confident the account was not banned in error or accidentally. The decision is final, and this account will not be released, or will not be released no further response and sick. Well, not for you, at least no further response will be given in regards to the account. Okay, you need, you need a comma there, Daybreak. We always regret when this type of action is necessary, and we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Well, clearly, you don't give a shit. But uh, they banned him, and he's not a hacker. I've played with the kid a whole bunch of times, and if he's hacking, he's definitely not going to do it on an account with two rather valuable skins, and neither am I. So, yeah, just wanted to make this, was hoping uh, to shed some light on this, and maybe get myself unbanned because this is absolutely ridiculous and people should not be getting banned when they didn't do anything wrong uh and it, and it's happening it's happening so much and i i haven't even scratched the surface with starting to research like i literally just looked up h1z1 people getting banned for no reason and i saw a post with this many people responding to it in this many links and that was in like two seconds and i asked a few streamers and they all said yeah this happens all the time but my like my friend Waspy, and this could even happen to me, I don't know, it could happen to me, we could just be banned for doing something we didn't do, not get to play the game for a while, and then there's the possibility that we straight up don't even get our account back when we didn't do anything wrong. And my account had hundreds of dollars worth of skins. They can literally just be stealing that from me. Like, that's, that's absurd. They can run around banning people that have no voice and just say, yeah, get fucked, loser, and take their skins. I know they're probably not doing it for skins. I know that it's accidental. I know that they could generate skins all they want and sell them if they wanted to. It's probably illegal, but I know that they're not doing it to steal my skins. But it's, 
I, I feel robbed because I spent hundreds of dollars on skins pl- and, and played the game with them and planned on selling them in the future, but I just got them taken from me for no reason. Like, I'm not going to play on an account thinking I'm going to get banned and then buy skins. Like, that's that's absurd. I'm, you know, I... I don't know. I'm going on a. I'm going on a rant now. Uh, I just hope that. I hope that I helped some people here, and I hope that I helped myself because this is this is. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. This shouldn't happen, and uh, my my reputation gets tarnished in the process because a lot of people are like, oh, I knew that guy was cheating, and I'm not a cheater. I don't know what I have to do. I even sent them files. I sent Daybreak, uh, these two files, and they. They sent me an automated reply saying, well, we're pretty damn sure you uh, we didn't do it on accident. It's like, why am I even going out of my way to send you these files if you're not going to look at them, right? Anyways, I've spent over 15 minutes talking about this. Thank you to all of those who have actually sat here and listened to that. But yeah, that's my that's my little rant. I'm pretty pissed off. And uh, yeah, hope, hope that I accomplished something here. All right, thanks for watching.